All right, so we're back, and we're here talking about the uh, DF Robot Romeo Arduino board. Now, this, like any other Arduino board from DF Robot or any other manufacturer, is, um, you know, it's got its own expansion and whatnot. You have to choose a board for the actual project that you're going to be working on. Um, in this case, this board supports, it's got motor drivers, got I2C connectors, five, I believe. It's got eight analog ports. It's got 14 digital I.O., I mean, GPIO ports here. Um, supports Bluetooth and a bunch of other things, uh, server, independent servo power, USB or regular power. Uh, you also have some, the nice thing about it, but which most microcontrollers don't come with, you also have some general purpose uh, push buttons here that you can pre-program to do certain things. Um, again, this is a really nice board to use if, it's, if it suits your needs. Um, what we've done is that we always mount each one of our boards on a project box and mount it with a temperature sensor and a couple of little sensors to give us some basic readings on the board while it's in use. But all in all, great board to use. Like anything, you don't require any special drivers or software to use this um, from DF Robot. No drivers are really required. Windows XP, Windows 7, they all detect this uh, board easily. Uh, we haven't tried it in Vista yet, but I would assume it would work just as well. The other good thing about it is it just uses the entire uh, open source community's uh, IDE for Arduino, which can be found on www.arduino.cc. And you simply download that, plug this into USB, and start writing up sketches and download them straight on there. That's it. This also supports shields, um, various shields. Doesn't support shields like the one I showed you in a previous one, where this is one specifically for the Mega. However, it does support shields like this, like the uh, DF Robot IO expansion shield, which gives you additional ports, um, things like that, or something like this one here, which is the XB module, the XB shield, which also allows you to mount an additional shield on top of it. Again, we have it shown here with a GPS from Seed Studio. Uh, again, this all depends on what you need to do with your project. So make sure you read up on the technical specifications on DF Robot for the Romeo and see that it meets your needs. If it doesn't meet your needs and need more expansion, we highly recommend going with the uh, DF Robot Mega, which is this one right here. It's a little bit longer, uh, larger, and it requires shields um, to easily plug and play your devices. Uh, that's about it. This concludes this review of the uh, DF Romeo. Uh, sorry, the DF Robot Romeo. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you additional videos of us using this product inside of uh, one of our robot kits. And uh, make sure to read up on our full review so you can see all the technical specs, what you can and can't do, and what you learn to expect from using the Romeo.